Hey, good afternoon, guys. It is Sunday, August 3rd. I'm Gunner. I'm done. Call me done. Welcome to a little fun stream of DuckTales Remastered on the PS3 version. I'm doing this in lieu of my normal Final Fantasy VI video today because I'm about fully over the cold I had this week and my voice isn't entirely back, so I wouldn't be able to voice act the happiness of Kefka that I love to do so much. Uh, this is just going to be a generic run on medium difficulty. I, I beat it on easy when I first got the game, haven't touched it since. So I figured, well, I need to beat it on every difficulty anyway. Let's go ahead and work on that. Change some options here. Especially quick cinemas. I am not going to be playing through the cutscenes. I need to beat this within two hours. Okay. Start a new game. Oh. No, I want to... If you're going to overwrite my save just because I want to switch difficulty levels, that kind of sucks. Uh, oh, right, the quick cinema does work out nicely. Is there any point on collecting everything, though, in that case? Good old tutorial level here. I'm not going to say much, just enjoy the music. Onward and upward. And of course, Alan Young's fine voice acting. It's a diamond the size of Mrs. Beakley. Now I have to give uh, shout outs to to the Let's Race with RPG Maker magazine. They recently raced through this, and that's what inspired me to play it again. So we can thank them for the stream. Why am I collecting money? I don't need to collect the money. I can wait until I get extreme mode unlocked. <laughs> so I have to beat the game on all the difficulties for all the trophies. This. Goodbye, tutorial message. Another... There seems to be a Schrodinger's amount of Beagle Boys, if you ask me, because no matter how many you, you kill, or knock out, really, they just keep coming back. There's an infinite number of them. And I will not be doing the stages in order, by the way. As much, though, as much as I want to do the moon first, I'll save it for last. I actually find it the easiest. And I'll only hunt for stuff if I need the, if I need the cash, or rather, hunt for stuff if I need health. What am I saying? Ignore all that. Crush you. Now, I have gotten all the trophies on this, except for uh, beating it on hard and extreme, and unlocking all the gallery photos. With these quick cinemas, you don't even have to deal with the mini-boss fights here. Oh, sorry, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, you are completely ignored. Ah, uh, someone's going to turn in screws for child abuse now. Here, big time. As usual, he's the smallest member of the Beagle Boys. Uh, that's always the that's always the old classic joke of naming a mob boss Mr. Big when he's a midget. Nope. Can't jump over all of them. Well, we both have two hits left. There you are, sir. And one more hit. Everything's ready, sir. Migraine! Oh, looks quick. Uh, I, like to, I like to start off with the mines first. We'll go there. Find Gyro. Now, I'm not able to pay too much attention to the chat because I'm playing this off my TV. The capture card has a... Unfortunately, it does have a few second delay. Not good in games like this. Go away, tutorial boxes. I already beat the game. I played the NES one to death when I was a kid. And despite that, I never played the sequel. 
have to do that sometime. If it's gonna throw money and get in my way, might as well take it. Yeah, you can, or you can hit the hit the crates and get money out of them as well. Usually the yellow diamonds. Come here, bat. I swear I played another game where the bats behaved exactly like this. Maybe it, that wasn't Child of Light. Oh well. Keep an eye out for the heart container, which is right here. <laughs> That's the one thing I'm worried about with this run, is I don't remember exactly where all the heart containers are. That does, it might be practice for... Uh, two heart containers instead of the five. And I, I keep hearing people say that Hard and extreme are actually easier than medium on this game. Just because of how generous they are with one-ups instead of giving a uh, full health boost from certain from certain chests. And bounce up there, Scrooge. Up I go. No, no, Orbo, it's DuckTales Woo! You got it, you got it reversed. <laughs> and time for the good, uh, grand old Indiana Jones escape. Assuming that boulder's already on its way. What kind of, what kind of McDuck am I? I'm ignoring all the money. <laughs> They were nice enough to pogo above it. Uh, unfortunately, not so much in later levels. That's a very poor Aquaman impression, ducks. That's well, kind of redundant. I'm. I'm not. I'm not even going to continue with it. <laughs> ah! Close. Yeah, we'll do it right this time. Won't get hit so easily. Look at that luster. The trickiest thing about pogoing is if you're in a narrow area, that's when it's that's when you have to have really quick timing. Another indie escape? I don't really expect to get uh, too lost. Of course, Him Himalaya is in Transylvania, or the real maze levels in the game. The rest are fairly straightforward. I think my only complaint about this game is the jump physics when coming out of minecarts. Just don't seem to flow as well as others, but it's me. Fortunately, your inertia does carry you over. I mean, like right there when jumping to the next one, I just seem to lose all momentum. Oh, lifted my head too soon. Fortunately, that is not an instant death. It probably is on extreme, I'll bet. Oh, thank you. I was not expecting health there. I think this is the only one of these plants that you can kill. And the more ever spawning Beagle Boys. Oh, 
And I'm also glad they patched this to not only include the quick cinematics, but also fix a bug that was at least in the PS3 version, where you wouldn't always pogo when you push the button. That was a complete element of fake difficulty being added in. Which for way forward is actually out of character because they have they have challenging games, but usually it's not stuff where it, it's it's cheap because because of bad mechanics. I oh, can't get that one. But they did a very, very good job on this game. Cannot complain at all. They actually fixed some of my complaints with the NES version with how you end up going to Transylvania more often than anywhere else. Boss time! I, I like these guys' design. They, they just look so fun. I don't remember his pattern very well, so I may take a death or two. He only takes five hits. That's another reason why I like starting off here, or the moon. Oh, jumped way too early. This is the attack that a lot of people hate just because of how tricky it is to dodge. Those, those ones that... It, the ones that bounce out among the among the Zerg rush can, can usually hit you, but... And it deals more often with luck. I think there's gonna be another stone. Yep. One more and he's toast. And it, it just amazes me how many hits some of these bosses take. They range from like 6 to 15. Okay, so long as I only take one hit here, I should be fine. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm okay. Goodbye, King. Count up. up. Uh, I got a message on Skype really quick. Uh, I, I have someone asking to join in on co commentary. I don't know if he'll be picked up. Hey, Greenthorn. Yeah, I, I just got your message on Skype. I actually don't know if you're if you're if you'll be picked up on the co commentary. Since my mic isn't being recorded off the system sounds on my machine, it's just recording on the capture card directly. Oh, one level down. Now oh, the Amazon's a good place to go to at this point. Oh, this level is actually pretty insane for a first level. Just, just wait and see how many enemies come at you right from the get-go. Load up and get going. Starting with the physically impossible ape right there, whose legs couldn't support or his body. But all the enemies in this game are actually uh, kind of caricatures of a lot of other Disney characters. One coin down. Oh, I love this quick cinematic because simply because of how. Oh, every time you pick up a coin, there was a, there was a cutscene for those. And I already got the look not look mod no spats trophy. I'm not even gonna attempt it again. I'm like a money magnet. Take that car. Is there another one in here? Yes. But you just have to go across here anyway.
Now the key is to master this mini pogo jump when trying to get across without touch without stopping or touching the ground with your feet. Now, these spiders are probably the trickiest part. That and the thorns in the ceiling. Because you have to wait and bide your time. But once you get the pattern out, it's not hard. And how did that hit me? Backtrack for those others. Home run. Home run is not a golf term, Scrooge. Oh, I thought, so thought I had, didn't have enough space there. That they were nice enough to put a little nook. Outrun the bee! Alright. All but one of these tokens necessary to move on. Making good progress, too. As, as insane as the enemies are on this level. Ah! That was just bad aim. And I'm reminded of many Mega Man climbs in this room. Duck eating plants are just desperate for anything without <laughs> which they just reach out to chop ya! I'll skip this. Alright, launch pad, don't let me die here. I should think you could just hold on to the rope and not worry too much about falling. Hang on tight. Stay at the top, the bees won't get you. And that's only the first half of the stage. Uh, insert Metroid Prime joke here, I guess. <laughs> now well, the heart container is around here somewhere. It's either on this side or... No. Actually, yeah. You have to approach it from from the left. Just a nice little bonus room. Yeah, if I remember correctly, in Hard and Extreme, all of the cakes are replaced by extra lives. So it's a... It's a more roundabout way of, of recovering your health. Come here, little racist stereotype native guy. Just for whatever reason, you're doing a crab walk. Ah, watch it again. And I think it'll be safer to. Or can I just. Oh, go me! <laughs> Would have liked a health boost there. Oh, thank you, Mr. Beakley. Anything over here? Absolutely not. Yeah, these spear throwing natives are the only real nuisance in the second half. 
die already. On the original NES game, you had to pay that thing like $100,000 or bypass it with a little shortcut bouncing off one of the native guys. You get a trophy for actually destroying it. Waka, waka, it's a treasure. Get that for good measure. Just keep moving. Uh, sorry, you can't hypnotize Scrooge when he has those dollar signs in his eyes. I don't think I missed the heart container, but I am starting to wonder a little bit. Ah, that was a dumb move on my part. There's the heart container. I was right. It's probably just health. Here comes the boss. This this boss is not hard, but it just takes a while. Every three hits, you get to deal with the uh, enclosing walls. As is good to do in situations like this, just stay close to the center. I actually don't remember if it's instant death if you get crushed or not. Probably not. Oh, I thought you can jump. I didn't get to be number one by back and doom. Halfway done. Stupid, stupid head. Uh, pun, pun intended and playground and insult intended at the same time. <laughs> You're a stupid head! Three hits down. Back at this. Stop and scratch my nose while waiting for him to come back, but have one more. Yippee! I'm glad to see you're having fun in this life threatening situation, Scrooge. And victory! We're done here. How are you doing on time? Probably 20 minutes in? Next, well, Himalayas or Transylvania? Go with Transylvania. I like it more. Himalayas are probably my least favorite level Thank in the game. You. Even a skeleton's ducks will just waddle.
Or is it just one of those infinite, infinitely long until you turn around? Nope. The best example I can think of is that the start of Chapter 7 of Star Tropics. Or just walk away from where you're supposed to go into. And then when you turn around the screen, the, your destination is just at the top of the screen once again. Yeah, it is. The way to go is into the basement on the right side first, if I remember correctly. Son of a duck. Can't hurt these ghosts, don't even try. It's a diamond the size of uh, Mrs. Beakley. He goes out in the pouring rain and the suit still looks great. Yep, I'm on the right path. Unfortunately, those guys do not hurt you as they're forming. Oh, <laughs> practically on midair here. Scrooge defies physics! And mini boss one. I did not get enough air. Who do they think they're fooling? Those masks can't fit over the sheets. Look at that luster. Sacrifice one, get two in the end, not bad. <laughs> the second time that one's gotten me. Yeah, okay, mini boss two coming right up. Of course all these guys are easy, you just have to deal with ghosts on this one. Ah! We got each other. Heart containers somewhere on this floor, if I remember correctly. Now, one thing that's kind of too bad about this level is they did not have the portrait's eyes following you. That would be pretty cool. And as creepy as it sounds, as usual. These mummies are just annoying. And he's just. Embarrassed by the fact he doesn't wear pants. Thank you, I will top off my health. Now, in all honesty, I don't know what the difference between hard and extreme on this game are. I'll find out when I play them eventually. <laughs> and go right. That's not right. You're the right! Actually, it is his left. And there's the heart container. Way forward. He's actually above here and to the right through a hidden wall. But we can't get there until after rescuing all of Scrooge's nephews. And apologies for my voice, I'm just still a little out of it. Or am I going the right way? That guy's just being a nuisance. Yeah, this way leads to the boss. Now you go, oh, yeah, go to, go to my left. These guys just patrol along a set pattern rather than being annoying like this.
This should not have to be a stealth mission! Go, 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 go. Go that way, go that way. Ah. Now, Lantis, I understand your frustration with these guys now. <laughs> but then again, I'm not racing. Gotta hit the base twice to get the chest open. Though they don't always have of treasure inside, I think some even have ghosts. Or there's that. that the heads will just hurt you. And I took a wrong turn. Can I even go up right there? That's, that's the next question. Is that just at the other the other side of the room? No. Nope. There is a way up here somewhere. Don't see anything. Yeah, let's go back and try that other mirror. There we are. Oh, I should have realized that from the start. So my card segments really aren't all that hard. They can just take you off guard if, if you don't pay attention, but they're nothing like Donkey Kong Country. And, and by the way, this was the fan vote from Twitter whether I should stream this or Dr. Con Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, DKC Tropical Freeze would have been a, a blind run and happened more often than this, but this is just going to be a single run. I can tank these. Come on, big time, we already fought you once. Now I can head for the boss room. Let's get through here. Ow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take a single hit over dying. That's because of my bad timing. Oh, I missed the ice cream. I actually couldn't say whether the top or bottom route is better. It looks like the bottom. Really lost my heart on that one. And another death trap, if you're not careful. Alright, Mrs. Beakley, give me some goodies. I'm pretty good. I have a no death run so far. That'll, that'll change in either. Himalayas are the final area. <laughs> I'll ignore you guys. I've never seen a gem like this before. Treasure! <laughs> More money for me money bin! Excuse me. And here we are back at the beginning. Ha! You didn't get me that time! <laughs> Annoying mummy ducks are just in the way, so get out of my way! Don't 
take that mirror again, we'd have to do another complete decirculation. Love the effect in that one, though. That is an awesome portal. Should be one more ghost. Made it. Boss time. All right, magic and a spell. You're up. I actually find her to be one of the harder bosses in this. Now, a shout-out to June Foray as she was honored by Mel Blanc as the greatest voice actor of her day. Oops. Uh, yeah, kind of might help if I actually attack her. <laughs> I think, it, I think it was Mel Blanc who said of her that it, uh, he, that June Foray was not the female Mel Blanc, that he was the male June Foray. Ouch. Order up. No, I will not have roasted Uncle Scrooge. Point where she's going to do three layers of those fire bars. Ah! It's not coming that time. I'm stuck. And this should be the last set of hits against her. Dispelled. <laughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and skip all this and head on to the Himalayas. Now then, where are you to next? Place where I'm most likely to get lost in. Pack my pocket. And some of the more annoying enemies now that I think about it the goats and rabbits tend to be a nuisance. Oops, even though the rabbits aren't doing anything to hinder you, they're just having fun. How much treasure can spawn over one rabbit's head? <laughs> what is with those ghosts? They just look demonic. Those eyes! <laughs> <laughs> now my planned route does not exist. Which way do I need to go here? Let's start with down. Oh. One way. Closer to a pickup, though. Park container is not here. That's what I was thinking it was. Totally wrong. Watch this. The secret passage. Right in here. So I was close. I thought it was actually in one of the above ground areas. Now you're not worth trying to kill. Can't 
Can those spikes hurt? That's the question of the day. I'm not going to bother to find out. Oh, only took out one of them. Rats! So, the missing part... Go further. Ah! Except I'm going down! That's kind of the annoying thing about these voice clips. Ah! <laughs> that just play over and over again throughout the whole game. Sometimes, sometimes they get annoying, other times they're just not used in appropriate situations. Pork chops and apple sauce, and that's well. Now, if anyone can name the reference, you're as old as I am. <laughs> there, there's, this, there's the part. That's right, the rabbits. The rabbits kind of steal it from you. That's where the other, where the other part went. Uh, did I already get it and just not see it? Probably did. Oof. Too close. All right, Bubba Duck. You were an unpopular character, but they put you in the game anyway. What happened? And now that I'm older, the name Scooge sounds so naughty. Health pickups would be nice, though. Go through all that trouble for nothing. That's normal. Oh, thank you, Bubba. How nice of you to club innocent rabbits to death. Uh, Bubba, where'd you go? I sent you a hit, hit without a cutscene. Nice if there was a health pickup along the way. But I actually don't know where Mrs. Beakley is in this level. Ice cream's better than nothing. Now I'm going to guess that the difference between hard and extreme is on hard. Even even though you don't have, uh, even though you only have three hearts to start with, and only get a maximum of five, you only take half a heart of damage. Whereas on extreme, you would take a full heart. That's one of the differences between. Nor easy and medium on this one. Come on. There we are. Can't jump over, you just have to do a golf swing. And there's that cake I've been wanting. Oh, the demonic goats are back. Just have to deal with a few more of those before the boss. All right, launch pad, let's get out of here. Now it is possible to get knocked off the plane. Here comes a ten megaton finder's beam. Uh, I've never had that happen before. Turn a profit on this much duck. <laughs> Scrooge! Come on, boys. One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down. You show him, Mr. McDean. Now, how do you lo lo load that many Beagle Boys into a cannon? <laughs> Once again, the Schrodinger's Beagle Boys <laughs> applies. Hurry, you fools! He's catching up! 
This is the craziest flight I've ever flown. There are always two, no matter how many I and no matter how many I knock out, but I need to either add to or take away from their number. <laughs> Good job, goat. And this has been called the worst jump in the game. Made it. Uh, health? Ice cream? Cake? Thank you. I thought I didn't make it. I can hit the center or the far. Nope. Center one. Well, once you get past the, the first part of the boss just running under her here, and yes, it is a girl. It, it, this part of this boss fight isn't hard. Let's watch the falling debris. Let's gonna hit the right one. And get on the other side. This boss only takes five hits. Five, five or six, actually. But very simple pattern. Not very hard at all. Next one's pretty easy, too. Center. Center block. Fire one! Right on the nose. Let me out of here! Let me out of here! I can't stand fighting the Yeti! <laughs> That's what hit the center one. That's the only one left at this point. They're making this boss fight easier! <laughs> That's what, number four? Eh, go over here. That's right! Your mama's so white they call her the abominable snowman! <laughs> Not a hard boss fight at all. And of course I put the I put smooth the grooves arrangement of it in my top ten list. <laughs> Just have the moon left. Now it was actually inter it's interesting coming back to this uh, when I played it the first time because. I had seen a few DuckTales episodes as a kid with Gizmo Duck, but I did not know the character of Fenton at all. And didn't didn't realize how he became Gizmo Duck and the 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 phrase to become Gizmo Duck. So that was so, something new I learned. <laughs> I'm not gonna say much. Let's just enjoy the music. I actually wanted this to be my victory theme if I won in a Smash Brothers tournament a few months ago, but I didn't make it. <laughs> they, they brought in some pros. Security system disengaged. Right. No, turning, turning the quick cinematics off, you don't even have to rescue Fenton from there. Or deal with, deal with the no gravity situation. I think I'd make that.
Now the downside of, of doing this, I am going to upload it to YouTube in whatever quality I get off of, off of Twitch here, but there will be copyright notices. This game is one of those where, uh, unless you play it without the music entirely, it'll get the copyright notice. So it'll, it'll, it'll likely be blocked in several countries, which is a shame because, because they don't get to hear the music. Well, duck part hurt one. And Mrs. Beakley's around here somewhere. N not on this side, though. Pogo died for two story fall. That has got to hurt. Thought I was above him. It's like a diamond for my trouble. And of course, though, those enemies are not hurt by the electric spikes protruding out of the ceiling in random places throughout the ship. Now, oh, this is the moon, there's no OSHA there. Now, curiosity is rewarded. Come in here. Get a little more. Nothing here. Now, oh, money over there. No Beakley. I think Beakley's over this way. Chain protruding out from here. Not that I need her anymore since I <laughs> picked up the hell. Okay, come on, game. Any day now. Don't crash on me, game! Well, this sucks. Can you bring up the PS3 menu? Oh! Well, this bites. This totally bites. Ah, uh, well, let's just let's just start the game over. Uh, excuse me for a bit. Got to restart my PS3. I will not go see Mrs. Beakley this time.